excited today to share with you our new product line that was inspired by all of you and it's called Just Browsing. It's a mineral brown color and we have them in several different tones for you based on hair color. So we came up with sample packs for you so you can find your best fits. And we have brunette and black, gray and ash. We also have red and blonde and light brown. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. So, this is how you apply brow powder. You're going to use the So Acute brush. It's a great angled brush. It's got a very tight head to it, and it gives you a nice firm application. Easy to use. I picked for myself uh, Just Browsing number 26, which is a really pretty blue gray like my hair. So, I'm going with it. Dip in, tap off. I have nothing on my brows right now. So I hope you can see them. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to, I'm not going to raise my eyebrows because then I'm going to get the wrong shape, but I am going to just gently use the very tip of the brush. I don't know if you can see that or not, the part with the angle. And I'm just going to gently, very light handedly, brush that on and also flick it upward, words like little hair strokes. And then I'm just gonna bring it over. And on myself, I need a little bit of a lift up here. So I'm just gonna add just a snitch up there. Do, 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 do. Sound effects are always awesome. Making that nice, even. And there you have it. So done and not done. So now that I showed you how to apply your brow color, I want to show you how to check it because it's really important. So when I'm doing makeup in the studio, what I like to do is I like to take two colors or maybe even three that I think might be a good fit and I test them right next to the brow. So I'm going to tell you again that I use number 26, which is um, Just Browsing 26 and it's a blue gray, which I love. I think it looks great. And I'm going to take a little bit on my ankle brush. I always dip in and tap off the color. And then what I do is I take a little bit of it and I just put it next to the person's brow and chest it, just like so. Now I'm gonna show you an obvious wrong color, um, just to show you how, why I would choose it. It's still deep, but it has way too much warmth in it. So I'm gonna dip my brush in, tap it on, and here I go again. So I'm gonna take this guy and I wanna put it, again, close to the brow. Oh, see, that you can really tell. It's, it's way too dark for me, and it's also a little warm. You may not be able to tell that as much as the depth. So for me, I want my brows to be slightly enhanced, but I don't like them too rich. If somebody wants them really rich, you might want to go with that, but this one may still be a little bit warm. So there's different options, and that's how you test it.